Hey, it's Ashley and I'm back with another haircut tutorial. Stay till the end and check out the before and after. So I'm going to be starting with my number one and we're going to keep it as a medium fade. So keeping the number one closed and holding the ear down and then I'm going to go over to the other side and just match it to make sure we're kind of meeting the fade together in the back. And so I'm going to go behind that ear and just keep going up with my number one to that line that I've already created from the front. And then right here he has a little calyx, so sometimes you have to turn your clippers a certain way, sometimes upside down, to really reach the hair at its true length. And then working my way to the other side. And then I'm gonna go right behind that ear and I've already kind of matched up that area. So I'm gonna open up my clippers to a one and a half. And I'm gonna go back around the head about a finger length above where I originally started my fade with that one closed. so that we can have an easy fade right into our scissor cut later on. So going in here with my one opened and just gonna meet back to that line. And now I'm switching out into my one and a half guard and I'm gonna close it and go right back to where I just had my one and a half opened and keeping that drop. You don't want to really raise too much if you've dropped it with your first line. So now working my way to the other side of the head and then from here I'm gonna go ahead and open up my clippers so now my one and a half is opened and I'm gonna go right back around. And so the reason we're dropping it right here in the back and kind of keeping it dropped is because of his main cowlick in the back of his head that we're going to have to blend in later. So it'll just be a lot easier to meet everything together and leave some length where it's needed in the back of the head so nothing's sticking straight out. And so now that I'm finished with my one and a half guard, I'm going to grab my number two. And that'll just give me a really easy blend when I go with sheer over comb. Because your blue Cleopatra comb is about a one on the thicker side and a half on the thinner side. So I know I'll easily be able to pull my comb out and meet that two into the top blend it. And now going in with just my two opened and see right there you can see it just rolling perfectly off of the head and it creates just such a seamless blend for when you go in sheer over comb. So now I'm going to go and clean off all of my stuff and then probably clean off the client. And as I'm cleaning, I'm just kind of double checking everything. So here I'm gonna go ahead and taper out the neckline. Since it's a one, it'll be pretty simple. I'm just gonna go close my clipper all the way and create a slight line. And now I'm turning them upside down right there because I want to reach those swirls in the hair to keep the seamless hairline. So then I open slightly as I fade it up. Which right here we're pretty faded. So we're gonna trim the eyebrows and start lining up the hairline. 
So we're just gonna start by the sideburn and follow that natural line. We're just kind of giving a really effortless, clean look. And then behind the ear, I'm gonna kind of pull that hair back with my comb because it's growing towards the face. And then keeping that C shape, we're just gonna go right around the ear, which if your number one guard is on that starting point, then you don't really have to pull out too much hair because it's already pretty low. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, starting at that sideburn. I'm gonna go in, clean around the ear, and then C shape from the back. And you're just following that natural hairline and then I'm just going to clean up the neck just in case there's anything right under the cape that I didn't get whenever I was tapering it all down. And then you're just going to double check the eyebrows and the ears. And after I do this, I'll dust off the client's face, double check all of my lineup and my clipper cut, make sure I like everything, and then I'm going to get ready for my scissor cut. So the reason I do clippers, trimmers, and then scissors is because if I can clean off all the dry hair, there's no hair really to stick onto the client once I start wetting it for the scissor cut, and so that way everyone's pretty clean. So now I'm just going to saturate the hair and kind of check the direction of hair growth on top and make sure I know where I'm going. And so I like to kind of start by blending the sides in to my clipper cut because that's kind of already where I was at in the haircut. And then it gives me a guide for what I'm blending my top into because it's going to be the sides that I've previously cut. So from that two guard, I am taking my scissor over comb and just kind of blending those corners out. And so the direction of his hair growth is growing kind of like towards the left side of his head. So I'm coming in from the left side and pulling it up and out to meet that number two guard. And then right here, I'm turning my comb sideways and I'm going to double check that cut and I can kind of go off of what I've already previously cut and start cutting towards the front to blend that together as well, which will give me a little bit longer of a length towards the front, towards the bangs. And so I just double check with him on his sides, everything looks good, and we're going towards his bangs now. I'm taking about an inch off of the bangs, and then when I pull it up, I notice that the top was already pretty short comparative. So I'm gonna cut to my guide, which is his bangs. And I'm going to make my way towards the back in a mohawk guide meeting all the way to where I already previously blended my two into my top. And so from that mohawk guide, I'm taking my right section and blending everything to the same length. And he kind of pushes his hair over towards that side. So I'm gonna come back to it after I match up his left side to that mohawk guide I previously created. And then from there, I'm gonna take this small subsection that's left out and cut those corners to blend from what I previously blended my clippers into. And after that, I'm just gonna kinda go in and do any cleanup work to some things that look out of place. And that is the end of our haircut. I then washed and styled his hair. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching.
subscribe and check back for some more videos.